Good afternoon, YouTube. If you need to kill a werewolf, what is the right tool for the job? Is it A, holy water? Is it B, a silver bullet? Is it C, a cross? Or is it D, sunlight? Welcome back to that quiz show. I'm your host, Lauren. The answer we're looking for for this afternoon's multiple choice question is B. A silver bullet is the right tool to dispatch a werewolf. Silver weapons of any kind will work, but ranged weapons are definitely recommended. This could be vital knowledge this Halloween because there will be a full moon on October 31st. The next time that will happen again is on Halloween in 2039. If you had a correct answer, give yourself a fake internet point. If you haven't seen the first half of today's episode, you should click up here and watch the questions first or you'll spoil these spooky answers. Without any further delay, let's reveal the answers from this morning's quiz and see how many more fake internet points you have earned. Question number one. This year, The Simpsons will be airing their 31st Halloween special. What is the name for these special Halloween episodes? The answer is Treehouse of Horror. These non-canonical episodes are split into three short stories that are parodies of iconic horror narratives such as Soylent Green, 28 Days Later, Frankenstein, and The War of the Worlds. Question two. Who was the author of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow? The Legend of Sleepy Hollow was first published in 1820 and was written by American author Washington Irving. Question three. What classic horror movie features a serial killer in a William Shatner mask? The working title for the screenplay was The Babysitter Murders, but it was renamed by John Carpenter's girlfriend, who suggested changing the setting of the film to October 31st and renaming the movie Halloween. Question four. In The Addams Family, one role was played by a severed hand. What was that character's name? Thing is the name of the severed hand. Almost always played by a right hand, but sometimes portrayed as a left hand just to mess with the audience. Question five. In the film Beetlejuice, Adam and Barbara are given a manual after their tragic accident. What was the name of this book? The handbook for the recently deceased is a guidebook for spirits new to the afterlife. The handbook has been described as reading like stereo instructions, but there's an intermediate interface chapter on haunting, which apparently is easy to understand. Our question format for the second half of today's episode was phobias and films. For the next five questions, I gave you a phobia and a writer or director of a film, and you needed to tell me which film would be a trigger for those afflicted. Let's see how well you know your phobias and your horror movies. Question six. If you suffer from Sinophobia, which 1983 film based on a novel by Stephen King would be terrifying? Sinophobia is a fear of dogs, and the film we're looking for is Stephen King's Cujo. Number seven, if you have Kinemortophobia, which film from 1968 by George A. Romero is going to keep you up at night? Kinemortophobia, from the Greek kine meaning motion, and morto meaning death, is the fear of zombies. So the film we're looking for is George Romero's classic zombie movie, Night of the Living Dead. Number eight, if you are suffering from Samhainophobia, then this 1978 film from John Carpenter is going to give you the heebie-jeebies. Sam Hynophobia is a persistent, abnormal, unwarranted fear of Halloween. So the film we're looking for is John Carpenter's film, Halloween. How convenient. Number nine, Coolerophobia is no laughing matter. If you suffer from this phobia, then you'll want to avoid this 1990 miniseries or the 2017 film by Andy Muschietti. If you suffer from Coolerophobia, then you have an abnormal fear of clowns. The film we are looking for is It, which was originally a two-part miniseries in 1990, as well as a feature film in 2017. And our final question of this Halloween episode, number 10. If you have Bibliophobia, then this cult film from 1981 by Sam Raimi is going to give you a fright. Bibliophobia is a fear of books, and you'd have good reason to fear a book bound in human flesh and scribed in human blood. We are referring to the Necronomicon from Sam Raimi's film, The Evil Dead. This film was originally going to be called The Book of the Dead, but the title was changed because producers thought the target audience wouldn't watch a film about a book. That brings us to the end of our answers for the inaugural Halloween special. If you've enjoyed this trick or treat episode, then I implore you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All of these interactions conjure up the dark magic of the YouTube algorithm and help out the channel. I'd like to wish you all a safe and socially distanced Halloween. Let's stay in and watch some scary movies and make some caramel apples. Thank you again for tuning in, and we'll see you again with a fresh set of questions on that quiz show.